Hello everybody, David here. Now, in one of my last videos, I did a little demonstration on this uh, light dependent resistor in series with a constant resistor that allowed us to measure the voltage difference between the two legs of either resistor to determine whether there was light hitting the, uh, the light dependent resistor. So now I've got an Arduino and we're just going to hook this up to an Arduino and all I have back here is the serial monitor printing out the integer value of the analog input and a little voltage calculation. Now, let me explain that for a second. Um, the analog input on the Arduino uh, measures voltage, but it doesn't give you a voltage uh, in the programming necessarily. What it does is you do um, uh, analog read A0 through A5, for example. So analog read A0 and it returns an integer between 0 and 1023. So 1023 is 5 volts and 0 is 0 volts. Um, so that's that. So what you just do is you take 5, you multiply it by the reading you get and divide it by 1023 and then you should get uh, the, the actual voltage coming off. So that's what I have here. I have the the integer reading and the I guess scaled or normalized uh, voltage reading. So back to the circuit here we have the same uh, constant resistor and light dependent resistor as before so you have this going in there and then it's just joined these two legs are just joined together with one conductor so the circuit path will go from here through here through the other resistor and back out so what we have to do is connect this up so we're gonna use a couple jumper wires and what I'm gonna do is just connect this end of let me see can you see that this end of the constant resistor and I can connect this to 5 volts there's a 5 volt pin right on the Arduino conveniently provides 5 volts of power so 5 volts there we go and then we need to ground it so the electricity will come out the other side of this light dependent resistor so we're just gonna connect it there and that goes to ground which is one of these two okay there we go and finally to sense the voltage difference between one of these you gotta put a wire um, on the same you know, row as those two legs. So you put that there. That's how a breadboard works. And um, we're just going to plug that into A0 right here, which is what uh, this is reading. So I'm just going to put that there. And it should give us a. Re oh, I know what I did wrong. I connected this orange one to ground instead of 5 volts. Here, let me fix that. And boom. Ah, there we go. Now, right now we're getting an integer reading of about mm, 20, I guess. Um, let's see, 20, 19, which is 0 0.09 volts, which would be the voltage difference between um, the two legs of the, uh, the light-dependent resistor. So if I put my hand over it, then, I don't know whether you can see in the video, but that's now going up to 240, 245, which corresponds to about 1.14 volts, which makes sense. Put my finger on it, it goes up to about, it's now reading integer values of about 390, somewhere around there, which corresponds to a voltage drop of 1.7, 1.8-ish volts. And if I turn the light off, yep, reading around 220, and that's that. Okay, so now you can just, in your Arduino code, go, if the analog, if the sensor value is greater or less than a certain number, and that you'll have to experiment with, then do something else. And that's all I have for you right now. <laughs>
Um, yeah, so thanks for watching my video on using an Arduino to read the voltage difference uh, with a light-dependent resistor. And that's been it. I'll see you guys in the next one.